Hello my beautiful tribe and welcome to my new subscribers. I hope you enjoy my channel. Please let me know in the comments below my darlings and if you're watching this hit the subscribe and the like button. Apparently that's what you need to do. Um, this is my um, little input on my archangels. I hope you've enjoyed me introducing all the archangels I work with and what they do and how they can help you. And I did on my end one decide that I was going to do set the um, seraphim as a separate entity um to the rest of the archangels because i think they deserve it who are the seraphim um as you will know from my book i think it's both books i mention them actually yeah i do they're mentioned in me myself and i and rise and fall um as being the most powerful and most fearsome angels in the whole of the hierarchy um they are i always see them being overlooked by archangel michael um and sometimes gabriel as well the messenger now the seraphim um without t doing the spoilers for the book and taking you through all of it if you already know that the seraphim are basically the oldest order of the angels okay they are literally from year dot with god um not the god i don't recognize god as in the bible god i recognize god that word as the omnipresence the source of all energy light and frequency um not the one that sits on a throne and tells you um that you've sinned not that one um so without getting on my religion soapbox the seraphim help to dawn planets they help dawn planets with aerial they work on the frequency of song i first came across them when i was rocking after bouts of abuse as a, a teenager um, and i would hear um song and I didn't have a clue what it was and I thought I was going mad. And it wasn't until later on in my life that I found out that they were singing me um, healing, singing me, you can do this, you can get through this. Um, they are the most powerful angels in when it comes to things like world disasters. Now, let me just show you how I was introduced to them. So when I finally went up and met them years later, not realising they were singing to me all those years ago, bit of a spoiler for the book, but hey-ho, um, I walked into the Celestial Gardens, which is part of a layer of heaven, you like, or the Crystal Palace, whichever way you want to call it. And I walked into this rose-filled garden, which was absolutely fantastic. That's where I met Joffa in the roses, um, another archangel. And I walked in, and at, at that time, I was just on my ass, on my ass. Um, what was happening? As I say, I'm not going to give you too much of a spoiler. So I walked in and found myself in these celestial gardens and these women are completely different to all the other angels because most of the other angels I see are all like blonde hair apart from Ariel. She always has got this bright red hair. She's just so cool. Um, apart from that, they're all very tall, bright blue eyes and long blonde hair or big, big locks of golden glittering hair. And these all had dark hair, like coiling down. They look like Grecian goddesses. Right, and Grecian gods. I only saw the goddesses then, no. All female, which I think I needed at the time. And there was this song, but it, you can't see them singing it. It's like you walk into a room where music's playing, right? And and they, they stand by the fountain. You'll know it is the fountain of youth, fountain of life. It is basically, I call it the Oculus of Maya, but that's part of my book. Um... But basically, it is the fountain where I can dip into it and look at people's souls and all sorts of things. It is a three-tiered fountain. The first top of it is um, it cascades down through four lion heads, um, which I'll find out about in a minute. And then it goes down into a lotus flower and then it flows down into this big pool. And when I was looking, there was this soldier, right? And that and the song just reverberates through you. Do you know, like if you stand next to a speaker and it's boom, boom, it's like that. It's so amazing. So this song was reverberating through my soul, and I watched this broken soldier having this translucent water. This water's like silver, gold, turquoise, blue. It's just the most incredible. It's like liquid mercury, but it's got colours in it. It's just incredible. And they were pouring it over this soul. And then I watched this man transform. The uniform disappeared. And he was this 
vibrant, beautiful soul. And, and in my head, they said, oh, we've just healed him because he went through the um, rigmaroles of war. And I'm like, wow. So they said, come, come, come. And so you walk, I walked in and sat down by this pool and, and I could feel one of them just holding me. And it was the most sublime, most beautiful moment I could I could ever imagine happening. It was just absolutely beyond anything I could ever describe to you what it's like to be up in heaven. Um, and they held me back and and then this other lady was just stroking my face and it just felt like electric bolts of, I don't know, like a sneeze feeling. It was just incredible. And then she started just pouring. It's making the hairs on the back of my neck go up. She started pouring this liquid over me and saying, we, we, you need to heal your soul. We need to heal from your past. You need to heal your mind, your body and your soul. We'll help you. And they poured it over. And I don't remember anything. But I do know that when I came out, it must have been about an hour and a half later. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't a dream. I wasn't asleep because I was aware of where I was as well. Um, but I was kind of in this zone of nothingness. It was absolutely superb. No thoughts, worries, human ego, nothing. I was just this pure soul getting healed by these wonderful women. And um, it was it was just so euphoric. It was just an incredible. And I really hope that you can do this. And I think one of my next um, guided meditations will be taking you to this space. Definitely the seraphim. Um so anyway, that was my first experience of them and I came out feeling absolutely magnificent and I felt so much more enlightened and and ready to face the world and the planet. I just thought I I got I've got this. I've got this. I just felt so at peace with myself. Um and then when they actually visited me, it was again I'm doing a bit of a spoiler for my book me myself and I. Um but they actually came down during my crisis point when I was in bed for five years and the reason I know they were there is because my two little babies my two dogs started barking like nutters when I saw I was laying in bed and I saw like this shadow come through the whole house on the landing in the bedroom I'm like and it looked like you know perhaps a low flying plane had gone across and it turned out the the dogs then started barking and then Julianus my guide said the seraphim are here I'm like Jesus the whole place darkened and there was this smell, a bit like Joffael. It was like this most strong floral scent. And he said, they're with you to protect you. No one shall come and harm you whilst you're healing. I was like, Jesus, okay. And then I remember hearing their music, which I can't even begin to describe. But I've tried to in my new, you know, the Flights of the Angels guided meditation I've just done. It's kind of a bit like that, but not even close. How can you create that? I don't know, I'll try. Um, and then I fell asleep and woke up feeling calm. And I think they were there the whole time to keep me going, to stop me from like doing something stupid. Um, and then I used to go up a lot then. I'm thinking, I li I'm liking a bit of this. I'm going to keep going up in meditation to the Crystal Palace, to the Celestial Garden, to all these different places. And I'd go up and visit them. And then one time they showed me, scared the shite out of me they suddenly got bigger and they became more fearsome and almost like muscular and their faces they turned into like lioness type faces and they had four faces so i'm like what the fuck's all that about and then they all flew down through the fountain now when you read Earthwalkers, my my fiction book that's going to come out this it really is all, everything I describe is everything I've seen and it's been proven to me throughout my time from childhood, right? But it's spiritual fantasy it's going to be um, because it, it can't be, it can't, it can be a fiction, it can be a non-fiction book, but the characters are so incredible that I think I will keep, it is going to be kept as fiction. But anyway, um, I'm like, what the fluff's just happened there, right? So... I didn't really get an answer. I'm standing there thinking it's like this big whoosh of energy, like a super boom thing. I'm like, Jesus. And then um, Julianus, was it Julianus? 
oh God, I can't remember it was now, come to me and said to me, they are going to rescue souls, right? And what they do is, if there's a mass exodus of souls, like a tsunami, a natural disaster, war, whatever, and there's loads and loads of souls that need to go up, they gather them up in a frequency and take them all up at the same time. And if they've been through really horrific trauma, they bathe them all in that frequency by the pool, right? You've got to remember, I'm doing a man-made map to help you understand if I tried to explain frequencies, and God knows what to you, it would be, boof, so just keep it like this. Keep it real like this so you understand it. And me, as I wouldn't understand it, how can you understand light and frequency and vibration? You can't, so this is the best way of doing it, right? And so I'm like, wow, okay. And so I said, why, why have they got the four faces? And he said, to face north, south, east and west, to be aware, as they're also warriors. So they're warriors and they also, I saw lots of fire around them. I said, have they gone down to a fire? <laughs> Forest fire, I know. You've got to remember all the animals that pass. They're taking all the souls up as well. And he said, no, they work on the energy of fire and music. I'm like, okay, fair play. And um, so I've, I've said all this. So when I come down, I always hit the Google button because I'm not, I, I don't believe it until it's proven or they show me it. So they'll show me synchronicity or signs to back it up. Um, or I press the Google button and, oh, my God, on there, the seraphim show four, four faces as warriors. And everything that I see, including, like, you know, I told you about the cherubim chamber, it is all, it's in the Old Testament, all the names I hear, it's like even the names of my characters in my book, Earthwalkers, when I've Googled them, they are names of angels. They are na And all their names are relevant to things. It's just incredible. And I just thought I'd come up with them. It's just mind-blowing I oh my god I've got so much to share with you so yeah they're the seraphim um it's not you can't really invoke the seraphim but it's just if you hear about them and want to know what they're about then this is what they're about they are formidable they will heal anybody you know that's been through trauma tragedy passing they will heal them they their souls will be completely healed they they represent nothing but peace, love and healing. But on the other side, they're fearsome warriors that fly on the, the energy of fire and will gather souls up during wartime. They fiercely protect the Crystal Palace. I don't know what from. Um, but, yeah, there can be no breaches in that area. So there's no negative energies that can infiltrate that space. And I suppose they police that. Perhaps that's what it is. Um, but yeah, they're formidable. And to know that I've had the seraphim enter my energy and protect me was just mind blowing. And the fact the dogs were barking at it as well, completely, you know, so I thought I'm oh, hallucinating, I'm making it up. But um, the dogs barking at this big black shadow that completely surrounded the house. I'm like, shit, what's this? And then when Juliana said, yeah, the seraphim are protecting your home, you'll have no negative energy come here whilst we heal you this is your sanctuary i'm like holy shit that was when i was living in the house in the cemetery read the book because you couldn't make it up jesus christ if you haven't read it you'll be like oh my god um so anyway that's the seraphim for you if you have any questions about the archangels if you want me to talk more about the crystal palace um, and about heaven please let me know because i can tell i could talk for years about it um, in between writing books about it so um, thank you for listening thank you for your support and love and please 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 if you think that these videos are going to be interesting to anybody else please share them take care speak to you soon